Hey guys, so two weeks ago I put out a video on the unboxing and first impression of the Maxis scale as well as this Time Warp Black Mirror. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave the link right here. Uh, so check that out after you're done with this video or you know, if you want to go there and come back, that is fine as well. I've been using this scale for three weeks now, so I want to put out this video and give you guys my personal opinion and the actual review on the unit. Alright, so right off the bat, I want to let you guys know that I am keeping the scale. Uh, after three, three weeks of using it, I like the scale, I think it's very functional, so, so I'm going to keep it. Before I go into anything else, I want to give you a couple pros and cons. Well, not so much pros and cons, more the good and the not so great things about the scale. Okay, so first the good. The scale is actually very responsive. Uh, I do like how fast the number, um, I guess the number runs up to you as you're adding weight and it is also very sleek looking. Uh, like I said in the previous video, if you're looking for a great alternative to the IKEA scale at a fraction of the price, this is a great unit to get. It's also have good functionality. That's something I actually, I'm going to touch a little bit on that later. But one of the things is that I was looking for a scale that had the function of being weight sensitive. So what that means is, let's say when you're brewing coffee, the timer will automatically start when it senses a change in weight. However, when I was shopping for a scale like that, I don't know why, I couldn't find that function clearly stated on the Amazon page or on the internet. So I actually had to, um, after I get this unit actually, I read the manual and it actually does say in very, very small print right here on the back that it does have that function. The next thing is that the size of it is actually big enough to hold two espresso cups. So the size of it, it's pretty good. It could fit underneath the Bravo Barista Express. It's although a little bit more awkward, I, you know, had it been half an inch shorter it would have fit perfectly but this actually you, you could you could you can actually make it work but the size of it is more designed for either two shot espresso or for a pour over what i also like about this is that it have the rechargeable battery the battery actually lasts a very long time i've been using it for three weeks and it's still showing as full i believe they advertise for about seven hours of on time uh, while on fully charged battery and also the black one definitely looks tons and tons better than the white one that I got the first time. I don't know if you guys remember, you couldn't really make out the number. It's not really just the lighting. I know that, you know, with uh, with, with the direct lighting, sometimes it might appear even fainter on camera. But trust me, even in person, it looked very, very vague. All right, so a couple of things that I believe have room for improvement is number one, the material is actually very plasticky. I know in pictures, some people might think that this is metal. I, I was one of them. I actually thought that this might be metal because it's very hard to tell but this is actually a very plasticky um, feeling person. It's not light though by any means. It does feel good in the hand, but when you touch it, it's definitely plastic, as you can feel right here. The edge over here is actually feels quite sharp. Uh, when I first opened the case, I took it back out, and that was one of the things that kind of distracted me from the, the sleek look of it all. So when you hold it, you can actually, you could definitely feel the sharp, sharp edge that's, uh, that, that's on the side. It's not sharp enough to cut you, but it's there, it's present. On, the Amazon reviews, there's a lot of users that mention it's hard to find where the what the on button is. For me, I, I'm actually experiencing opposite of that. The button, see, I did it just now. The button is actually, it's actually very, very sensitive. Just by me picking it up, very often I actually turn the, uh, the scale on. So to me, it's not really a issue of not being able to find a button because they did include this pad that I keep on here all the time. <laughs> And it's pretty easy to tell it's going to, going to be on the bottom right corner. However, it's that sometimes it's, I, I, I guess it's the placement of it or the sensitivity of it. When I pick it up, it's on, right? I, I keep turning it on, but by accident. Again, it's not a big issue, but it, it is there. Okay, so I want to go over a couple of functionalities, uh, actually a couple of features of this scale. So number one, the feature that I was looking for on a replacement scale, I guess on an alternative scale, that's not the IKEA, is the weight sensitive auto start function. I want to show you guys how to do that here. When you first take it out of the box, the function is actually turned off. If you see on the back of the scale here, it does tell you to press the timer key until you hear the beep sound and vice versa to turn on and off the auto timing mode. So what they mean by that is if you were to just repeatedly press the, the timer button until you hear that long beep and you will see that the A symbol shows up on the screen, that's when you know the auto timer. Uh, function is on. Okay, so let me just show you what that actually what that function actually do. So when you have the A on 
and you press the timer button, it's going to have a countdown of three, two, one. After the countdown, the unit will be ready. It's constantly detecting any changes in weight. So as soon as I put some weight in it, you see the timer will actually start. So this is useful if you want to uh, make some pour over or if you are doing, uh, if you are trying to time your shots. This way you can actually have the, have the timer start at the precise moment when the liquid enters the, um, uh, mixes with the coffee without having to press the timer button. So on the internet, I've also seen some people mention that they don't like the sound that the, that the scale makes. To me, it's perfectly fine. But if you don't want to hear the sound, it's actually very simple to turn it off. Again, you will go back to the, time, the timer button. You will simply hold it. And then you will see the speaker icon disappear. And this is when um, everything is just silent. However, because this is a non-tactile screen, um, well, this is a non-tactile button with the sound off, you can't, you, you don't have any feedback telling you when you actually press the button, when the unit actually registered your press. So I personally would rec recommend that you keep it on. Again, if this, the beeping is something that you don't want, there is a way to turn it off. All right, so those two are the functions that I think is noteworthy for you guys to know. Besides that, the skill works very well. It's very sensitive, like I said. Um, it works well for most of the, of the function that, that you do need it for. Um, so I'm happy with this purchase. I'm going to keep it in black. I have already returned the white. The last thing I'm going to touch on is actually the price of it. Uh, this scale as time of writing is around $65 to $70. If you're on a budget or you think that you don't want to, you know, or if you feel that you don't want to spend that much money on a scale, the maxes that I showed you guys last time was a surprisingly good scale to use. I am going to make a separate re review video for that. So again, I'm going to leave it in the description down below as well as up here for you guys to check out. So for anybody who don't want to spend that much money on a scale, that scale actually works extremely, extremely well. I do recommend you guys checking it out. All right, so hopefully this video helped you guys made a decision on whether or not the Time War Black Mirror is for you. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, drop a like on this video, and of course, leave any of your questions or concerns in the comment section down below. And until next video, I'll see you next time.